If you've thought about starting a newsletter or blog and you're generally just overwhelmed with the amount of advice and information that is out on the internet, whether you should use WordPress, Squarespace, or Wix, this video is for you. We're gonna be going over how to use a platform called Ghost to host a newsletter. Now a newsletter is basically you're writing online and then you end up charging people for your words, your writing, but we're gonna start off doing the free version. So we're gonna be giving out information for free. So we're gonna walk through exactly how to post on this site and then send that out to an email distribution list. Now, a lot of creators end up converting to Ghost anyway because it is very nice to host a newsletter. It's super easy, friendly, all that jazz. So we're gonna take away that decision paralysis that you might have of picking a platform and we're just gonna go with Ghost. I do have a link, so click that. It's a mystery link, I have no idea what it does, <laughs> but I was just so excited that Ghost decided to work with me, so I was like, whatever. So hopefully you get some sort of discount, but I will link that below if you, have, if you don't even have a Ghost account. If you're new here, I'm Liz, I'm a data science manager at Intel and on the side, I do run a side business on YouTube and I want to start up a newsletter and I've been procrastinating for a very long time and I finally got it up and running on Ghost and I'm super excited about it, so let's jump into the video. Okay, so here's the Ghost website. So I will link my link below if you do not have a Ghost account, but let's jump into what it looks like once you sign up. So this is what the dashboard looks like. Now it's it seems a little daunting because there's a lot happening here, but you can see I have a total of 15 members. Now I've just had my site up, so that's people who have gone onto my site. So if we look at view site, those are the people who've gone in here and have typed in their email address and press subscribe. So I have not done anything to get those members. I just have my website linked on my Twitter and on my YouTube channel. So I have 15 people who've signed up to see a newsletter that I have not created yet. And now the important part is we are not doing a paid newsletter right now because we don't like have enough people and we don't know if they're willing to pay yet. So I wanna build up my newsletter by giving out free advice, free writing, and then maybe in a couple months or a year, I make it paid and then we can make money off of it. And that's kind of what the dashboard's for. It's showing, you know, how much money you're making. Obviously I'm making zero. <laughs> so the point of this video. So let's go to the post section because this is where your posts are going to be and how you send out your posts to your newsletter people. So again, it's going to show up on in your view site. So I'm using the Ali Abdal template, which I have a video on exactly how to install this template, how to link your domain, all the details. So I will link that below. But if you scroll down, we have posts, right? News, my first post. So once I post something, it will send out to the email distribution list and then it will go in this latest article section, which is kind of cool. So let's click the first one. So I have it as a draft right now. So all I did was press new post right here and then open this up and this is what it looks like as a draft. So as I'm typing and writing, I like to use emojis, but I will show you a couple tricks here. So if we scroll down and kind of notice I have these links embedded and they're kind of pretty, right? So all you have to do is just like Notion, if you're familiar with Notion, is you do a backslash and then you do bookmark, just like how you do web bookmark in Notion. And then you click this and then you just enter your URL and then it, it creates like these pretty kind of vibes here. Like see how it has a nice format and everything. It's not just like a normal link. Again, if you wanna go in here and you want to basically change the heading, there's a simple trick here. It's these like hashtag signs, one hashtag in a space, you'll get the biggest heading. And then if you do two hashtags in a space, you get the second biggest heading. If you do three, you get even smaller and then you just have regular sentences. So I have one here. So that's like heading one, that's the largest heading. And then two for these, three for these, and then everything else is just normal. Now, again, the backslash is how you add anything. So you can add all this extra stuff. It's so nice. You can add toggles, you can add videos, audios, files, anything you want. And that's kind of why I like this. You also have a YouTube, you can embed YouTube videos. I just did a link at the bottom like this. I think it looks nice, but you can do like the YouTube, click that and then embed the URL, but I already did that. So <laughs> you just kind of write, and I think it came out like super pretty. All I did was put together like how I became a data scientist, nothing crazy, but structured super well, you know, these are the steps, you know, here's some bullet points. I think it turned out good. Now they recommend posting your newsletter on Tuesdays. So what I'm going to do 
in order to publish it, so assuming that you're done, so you're basically just gonna write everything. If you wanna add stuff, again, the backslash is your best bet for adding stuff, like images and all that. But you normally just type like a Word document, and then you can go in here and just press set it live now or schedule it for later. So we have schedule for later. I'm gonna schedule this for a Tuesday, and I, this is an UTC, so be very careful. I think the 15 hour was the one I want because that's three o'clock in that time, but it's eight o'clock Pacific Standard and I'm on the West Coast. So I'm gonna do that one and then send by email. You wanna make sure this is toggled on because it says free members. So once you set up your paid membership, you can just do paid. But again, I would not recommend doing paid if you've never posted before. So I'm gonna go ahead and press schedule. Well, let me, let me show you the preview first. So you can click preview and this is what it looks like on the computer when they open it and it looks really nice. So you just wanna double check that it doesn't like look all janky. A lot of people are gonna see this on their phones. So it's nice to just kinda, okay, this is what the phone looks like. And then you have the email. It's got my header. I'm not like a super big fan of that, but you know, it's okay. And then scroll down. Okay, everything looks fine. This is what it would look like on Twitter. Okay, this looks okay. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the schedule. Oh God, we have to type it again. But we're gonna do 15 hour. We're gonna schedule it, schedule, and then bam, done. Now it says scheduled. And so if we go back to posts, instead of saying um, draft, it's going to say scheduled. And then bam, we have a scheduled newsletter. Like, so easy. Like I have been putting this off for so long and I made my first one the other day and I was like, wow, I could have been writing and scheduling these ahead of time, just like YouTube videos. And I could have been building my newsletter, but instead I've been like, oh, I'm so worried. I don't know what I would write about. Oh, I don't know how to do it. But it's like, you just have to start. And now we have a scheduled content. That content maybe took me three hours to write, nothing crazy. And then your members are located in this member tab so you can import people and in case like they're not signing up and you have a list of people that you already know would want to be in. You can import them there and then you have your scheduled newsletter. So I'm just gonna start writing posts and scheduling newsletters. It's so easy. So I hope this kind of helps you guys think it's not that hard. Like <laughs> The newsletter thing is not hard. It's gonna be all in, in this site. I'm using the Ali Abdal template but you can use any template that's on Ghost. Super Themes is a good one, so I'll link that below because it is much easier than you think to start a newsletter and start writing and start making money. So I hope you guys can follow along as I keep posting newsletters and I'll give updates on like how I'm growing, what are my members like, and then when I do paid ones, I'll be like, how much money am I making? So hopefully you guys can follow this journey. If you're interested in how to set up this exact template, I will link my video below and around here for the Ali Abdal template setup because I went through the details all the way to picking out a domain and setting up this exact template.